games even really you know, plays that haven't gone your way. So how much did the way the Raiders game ended and the game Devontae had, I guess, stick with you throughout the season or the off season at all? Yeah, um, you know, that's the toughest part about the position. Sometimes, you know, th stuff like that happens, but, you know, you got to have short term memory at that position. You learn from your mistakes, and, you know, move on. You know, that's why a little was, but um, that's why you see another day, you know, you just live with it, you know, work on what you need to work on and correct that, you know, so the following year, the following weeks, it won't happen again, you know what I mean? So. Do you have short-term memory, or are you really chomping at the bit to get another shot at him on Sunday? I do have short-term memory. I mean, I know what I do on the field, so, um, you know, I just try to let those things go um, in a fast period of time, because football, you know, one play could change the game. You know what I mean? If you focus on the previous players or the past plays, it could affect your game. So, you know, you just got to move on with it. Justin was saying the same thing yesterday. He's like, that that's the position. That's what happens. You yeah. lose somebody, lose somebody's going to win a lot more when somebody who's obviously captain and Mr. Bronco says that stuff. It's got to help your confidence, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it just, it never um, wavered my confidence at all. You know what I mean? I just stay with the flow, you know, move on. You got to correct it in the film room. You know, you got to move on to the next week. You know, that's how the NFL works. So um, my main thing after that game was to focus on the next game ahead, the next week's ahead, uh, work on what I needed to work on and move on from there. How excited are you about this this game? It's not just Devontae. I mean, they have a lot of weapons on offense and a new quarterback, which you got to adjust. Yeah, to. It's, a, it's an exciting game for us as a team. Um, obviously, it's a division opponent uh, early on in the season, week one. So it should be very exciting for us. You know what I mean? So um, we're going to be put to the test early, but, you know, we're ready for it. When, when the game plan is for you to follow a guy around the field, is that do you take that as a compliment from the coaching staff? Um, yeah, but um, you know we got a pretty good scheme going on defensively uh, against their offense because it's not only me and uh, Devontae, it's just collectively as a unit coming together to shut down their offense. You know they got other players too as well too, so you know that's the main thing we got to focus on coming together collectively as a unit. I would just what about Devontae Allen makes him such a tough guy to uh, face? Um, I just think that he's uh, a technician out there. Um, you know, he's been in the league for some time now, so he's very smart uh, in his craft. And, um, you know, with guys like that, you got to watch a lot of film on them, uh, get a beat on it. So um, by the time the game come, you already know the next move. So yeah, that's about it. In addition to watching Raiders film, did you go back and watch any Jimmy G with the Niners just to see things he likes to do or his tendencies? Yeah, um, that's the thing with a new quarterback. Um, obviously, they're going to try to implement some of the things he does well into their offense. And, um, yeah, I watched a lot of film, especially our game against them last year because, um, you know, our defense was, I want to say, uh, all similar, but some of it is similar to the defense we ran last year. So um, just looking at that film uh, helps a lot as well, too. Well, then with Adams and Jacobs, they get plenty of attention. But what about Hunter Renfro operating underneath, and especially with K1 out? Yeah. Um, He's a good player, man. And um, like I said before, we got great players as well, too. You know, he's saying is a great player. So um, I just I just don't look at sort of matchups. I look at what we have defensively. And we have great players, you know, on that side of the ball. So, you know, I'm very excited uh, to see what we got. So You don't get to play in that last preseason game. You have a week in between the last one and this one. There's college games full bore. Mm. Are you just dying to get out there and play some football? You've been having to watch for quite a while. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. It's, it's been a while because, um, you know, obviously last year wasn't the season we wanted to have. But, you know, at the same time, you know, that's why we look forward to years like this to move on from that, you know, and just build something better. You know what I mean? Because obviously we set our goals before the season. And, uh, you know I mean, we're looking to reach that promise land this year. So, um, you know, that's the main thing. Focus on our goals as a team and, you know, just worry about weeks and weeks forward, you know, just putting our best foot forward, you know. Uh uh, uh, Pat, I, I was wondering, uh, Sean, Sean Payne's late regards, like someone who's like a work, workaholic, mm -hmm. long, late nights, his, he's hell bent on winning. I was wondering, do you feel like that type of mentality is infectious throughout the locker room? Yeah, it's very infectious, especially coming from a coach with that pedigree, uh, his resume. You know, when you see a coach like that comes in, you have all the confidence in the world uh, as a team, but not only as a team, but collectively as an organization. Uh, when you've got a guy that comes in, uh, poise, determine, you know, have his goals set ahead, you know, it just gives you the utmost confidence, you know, and, um, you know, obviously he's brought that type of swagger, that attitude towards our team. So, you know, we're just very excited to get to that next step. And then going off the board a bit, I know you 
commented on what the Buffs did and Travis Hunter. When you see him going both ways, you want to go into to coach and say, hey, I could line up and, and run some go routes. <laughs> uh, you know, I just, I just, you know, stick to what I do. You know what I mean? Um, not try to worry about, you know, I just focus on my role, do what I do best for the team, and that's about it. So, um, obviously, he's doing his thing over there, but, you know, maybe, but, you know, I mean, I'm just focused on my role. How impressed were you, though, as a, I know he's a Florida guy just like you? Oh, yeah. Um, he did, especially 110 snaps, which is even crazier. Uh, for him to go out there and compete at a high level is pretty unique. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Pat. Yeah.